the game. It's a red stick. G'day everyone, how's it going? My name's Ben Cat, and welcome to the channel. Today we're doing a really quick video. Um, all I'll be doing here is showing you how to swap out the side fender badges on your WRX STI to one of the aftermarket ones. So what I have here is I'll be swapping the standard silver side badge across for a black and white one, which I think will go a lot better with the dark grey metallic paint of my car and also match quite nicely with the brake calipers as well. So without further ado, uh, this one shouldn't take too long. So uh, yeah, let's go get right into it. So this is a really simple install. We're just gonna be swapping the badges over. Um, as you can see, this one's a direct fit replacement and it looks almost the same. So the trick to this is actually opening your door so you can get your finger in behind the badge. And this is our trick that we'll be using to peel it off the door when the time comes. So hopefully you'll have access to someone's old hairdryer like I do here. And what we wanna do is spend a few minutes, maybe five or so, just heating the area around the badge up. And our goal here is to soften the glue behind the badge. And that'll make it easier for us to peel off the door when the time comes. So spend a few minutes doing this. So then after a few minutes, you'll start to feel the badge actually is a lot looser and you'll be able to lift it up from the edge just a little bit, as you can see here. So I'll be using a little bit of fishing line today to help cut through the back of the badge, but if you don't have any, you can keep prying it off the car too. So we're basically just gonna use the fishing line as a saw to really help cut through that glue that's been softened by the heat. Now there is a plastic pin here and you'll wanna make sure you kind of loop the fishing line over it so you don't cut it off accidentally. Otherwise, all we're gonna do is keep using the fishing line to cut through and the hairdryer to keep warming that glue up as we cut through it. Now obviously once you're close to the end, make sure you just grab it with the other hand just in case it does fall off a little bit earlier than anticipated. But when you're ready, simply start to peel it off and there you go, simple as that. There you go. Now as soon as that badge is off, while the glue is still warm, you wanna get in and peel off any that's left over on the car. It should be pretty easy to come off. From here, we need to prepare the area. So what I've got here is some quick detailing product, which I'll just be spraying on and wiping off just to help get rid of some of that excess dirt and things like that before we follow up with something more harsh. So now I'm just using something a bit more aggressive to pull off any excess dirt and make sure it's very clean. So I have methylated spirits here. I would prefer to use wax and grease remover, but due to the COVID lockdown, I've had difficulty finding some. So this will do for um, today. So just apply some to a new area on your rag and just start wiping around the area, especially in the cracks and things like that, just to make sure you've got rid of all that dirt. And once you're finished, make sure you turn to another clean part of your cloth to wipe down the area and make sure you've got as much of that metho off the car as possible. You don't want to leave that on for longer than needed. So check out the amount of dirt I just got off on the white part of the rag. You can see here a bit came off. But make sure you use the hairdryer over the area again, which will help evaporate any leftover methylated spirits or anything like that. But also we want to warm the area again so we can apply that new glue on the badge as effectively as possible. Sweet. So now it's time to finally fit the badge to the car. Just looking at the back, it's mostly just held on with 3M tape, but you will see there's a plastic pin that does line up onto the car and that'll help make the fitment super easy. Even just test fitting it without sticking it on, it looks like it's a perfect fit. So I'm pretty happy with this already. So now simply peel off the tape on the back of the badge. The backing was actually held on pretty tight here. It was a little bit more difficult than I thought to remove. So now that we've removed the backing, time to simply stick it on. Now remember we have made sure that that surface is warm with the hair dryer prior. Now use as much force as possible while you fitted it to the car to hold on and push it onto the surface. We want that glue to stick as hard and good as possible. Most people say to hold it on for about 30 seconds, but after the 30, I try and hold it for a bit longer just to make sure it's on as strongly as possible. All right, job done. 
that looks pretty good and I'm really happy with how that looks. So here we go, looking pretty good if I say so myself. I really do like the look on the dark gray metallic paint. And in particular, it really goes a long way in matching to the bright caliper on the STI models as well. So overall, I'm really happy with this. Well, there you go guys, super easy part to swap out on your car. If you wanna see it again from a different angle, um, here's the video of me doing it on the passenger side of the car from a little bit of a different angle. So I just thought I'd record the same process on the passenger side of the car too, and just at a bit of a different angle in case anyone wanted to see the same process again from a different angle. So once again, heat the area for a few minutes. Test to see if the badge is loose with your finger with the door open. Once you're ready, get a small piece of fishing line behind the badge and simply use that fishing line with the warm area to start cutting through the glue and make sure you avoid cutting through the little plastic pin on the back of the badge. Once the badge is removed, while the paint is still warm, make sure you remove the glue that is still stuck on the car. Now make sure you clean the area thoroughly with a few different products. For me, the first product I used was Quick Detailer and I made sure I wiped that down thoroughly on the car. Next up, some methylated spirits just to thoroughly clean the area. And remember to wipe off the excess there with a clean portion of your towel. Once the area is clean, use the hairdryer again to evaporate any liquid that still might be there and also to heat the surface up in preparation for applying the new badge. Once ready, peel off the backing of the new badge. You can also apply a little bit of heat to the badge itself. Then go ahead, stick it onto the car, making sure you align the pin on the badge to the hole on the car itself. And apply 30 to 60 seconds of as much pressure as possible onto the car, just trying to make sure that the badge sticks to its new surface. And there you go. This really is a small mod you can do to your car that might only take you 10 or 20 minutes. Job done. Now we can't forget about our badges that we just removed off the car, right? These are potentially valuable pieces that we'll wanna make sure we uh, store properly. So make sure you give them a solid clean. So once clean, I'll just wrap these in plastic to make sure they won't get dirty again. And from there, I'm gonna reuse the packaging that the new badges came in and put them in there to store long-term. Well, there you go, guys. I think, I think you'd agree. It's a pretty easy modification to do. I really do think, you know, 10, 20 minutes is probably all you need to get this done with minimal tools. And I'm really happy with the outcome. I think, as I said, with that dark gray metallic paint, this actually looks really good on the car and kind of helps make that whole fender look a lot more seamless. So I'm really, really happy with how it's turned out. Well, thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you want to say thanks, um, it'd be greatly appreciated if you considered liking and subscribing to the channel. It really is appreciated. But with that being said, guys, thanks a lot for watching and uh, we'll see you around for the next one. Stay tuned. Cheers.